Hi right, guys, joined by Paul here from uh, 11211X, and uh, we're going to be watching NorCal, Silicon Valley, Vex V5, Robot co <laughs> Competition, Signature Event, Semifinals 1-1 one -one on the Red Alliance, Ray Guan, Irvine Ray Guan. So, uh, yeah, that's basically 9123 if you want to imagine it. And then uh, Saratoga against Eclipse and Infinity, right? Eclipse is actually a Plano, Texas team from my region, one of my sister teams, actually, and that used to be the team, the team I was on. So we were rooting for them the whole tournament, and we were very happy that they made it all the way to finals so what do you think about this match paul um i mean like rush is giving up third goal but yeah that's been I their can... strategy the whole tournament actually they were planning or their whole tournament was them having an amazing amazing uh setup for for the rest of the match right you can see here harrison's auto harrison the driver oh, yeah. for for ray guan here Right, their auto ends with a pretty much a full, full, full goal every single time, right? So this is definitely a pretty strong autonomous routine. However, Blues is so much stronger. You can see them ending with five top yeah. rows here, right? One of the only alliances in the world who's able to do that. Yeah, but what is it? Reds, negative, doesn't get so much rings. Yeah, but one and... thing is that this is kind of like a, a battle between a, a good in position, right, versus a amazing like scoring auto right because you know red is down so many points right now but but blue doesn't have a nearly as good ending position right so red can totally take this lead back by just having playing good at the start what do you think yeah what is it um one two five nine a just like rush blues positive corner right and yeah they're just not set up at all and red yeah. can just guard to, to say too safely in the corner yeah, um, one, two, yeah uh, one two two uh, one two sorry one two five nine eight is uh, the uh, Ray Guan team right the drivers right here so we can see them looking at this positive corner right kind of telling their teammate that where they're gonna go right yeah. away and we can expect that that to happen so talk a little bit about about uh, you, you guys right because I know you guys also recently won a signature event congratulations and tell me tell me about yeah. how how this NorCal signature event kind of was different from from yours I know a lot of the the strategies has been really similar but there's got to be some mm. some small differences right. Yeah, I'll tell you, NorCal is a lot more competitive, like a lot more aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, people like play really aggressive on positive corner. I'll say at score, people were more passive. Like it was pretty easy to secure positive corner. Yeah. Um, I mean, setup was pretty important, I guess, for the. Yeah, it was mainly the third goal. You can lose auto, but come back with third goal. Yeah, I feel like and, something that's pretty interesting to note this match and other matches here was that. KJ's chain kept snapping, right? His insect chain kept snapping, so this really forced him on that, oh, on that, uh, on that. What do you call it? defense slash like, de scoring the whole match, right? You can see him de just de score a bunch of the last of the match. So you can see here his chain snapped, unable right. to insect there at all, right? Quickly changing his strategy to be on defense. However, Red Alliance yeah. has so many rings now. Oh, and bam, he's, he scores one. But yeah, we can go rewind a little bit and just see what we were talking about for the start of the match there, because I think they did get that goal steal right away right really hard to defend that goal steal and it, while during that goal steal they also knocked that other goal over right so i don't know that might have been a double possession what do you think were they i mean were they dq for this i'm they might have did they get to accuse for this i'm uh, pretty i'm we'll pretty see. yeah i don't know we'll see but um, i don't exactly remember because it's been a while but let's mm -hmm. see, i'm pretty sure it, they didn't in the other team one off points but i'm not too sure why he leaves the corner. Shouldn't he just sit there? Here? Even if it's the on the right positive corner? Oh, right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. After after, after he gets this one? I feel like he should just stay yeah, there. Right, and right leave. he should just stay. Yeah. But honestly, yeah. I, but honestly, like, yeah, right now, he this this is a good good play right now. But I don't know if you watched the the rest of the finals, right? Whenever uh, Eclipse and Infinity played the... played was it run it back right they were able to get positive corner in most of the matches however right their, their scoring capabilities wasn't like super good from the positive corner right because you know blue uh, the, uh, at that time right the other alliance did a great job at you know taking away those rings from them and you know filling up all the other points possible so they were still uh, still lost even though they got both positive corners both matches yeah but like, I mean, yeah, that yeah, was a really good call. If you were to have taken that that positive corner, I'm sure I'm sure the match would have gone differently. Yeah, because blue did get the positive corner back, like yeah. one full mogul, basically eight points. Yeah, 
And here, what do you? How do you feel about Red possibly scoring that that blue goal with uh, with blue rings? Because I know it's a. Uh... Oh, yeah. What are you going for negative? If he, if he goes for negative here, I feel like I feel like that could be a good yeah. play because there's just so many blue rings here that he can yeah. you know take out of the out of out of the match play for those walls. Yeah. Rings. Yeah. Right. The, yeah. There's just like I think that's what too many blue. That, that's exactly there's... what he does. Okay. Not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I guess like the thing here is just like you just have to do it fast enough. You don't get stolen late, later on. Yep. And there you go. He's he's, he's pretty early on. Seconds. Yeah, and blue has one top one on the uh, wall wall stick too. So. Yeah, but I mean here uh, no. they're they're just putting. No, right. They're just putting. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, that's the blue team. They're putting that against. Yeah. It's just not. I mean, without with without an intake there, all they can do is d score, and it's so easy to defend that. So. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a. This is a very very tough yeah. match, I think, for, from to win. Yeah, I guess they just had like. They couldn't really do anything except defend and just hang. So, yeah, I don't necessarily but it, I guess it worked out. Score, but let me let me check. What was the score? I feel like a DQ is the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. It was a DQ. That'd be uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it was due to that early. It won by a lot, yeah. yeah, it was due to that early. Early. Double, double possession by by Rayquan. But yeah. Wait. Uh, it could be close, actually. actually. Trade off. What is it? Uh, Auton and they get, but they got third goal, like two points. Yep. Just all sticks that comes out. Yeah. Like I mean, for us at score, we just used wall sticks to like kind of tie it up. Like we don't really need both wall sticks. Just securing one is fine. If you get third goal. Um. Yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. Thank you. This is a very exciting match out of these two. Out of these two teams, we might do more more Cal. You guys want to let let, let me know in the comments because. Yeah, it's a lot more exciting. Yeah, NorCal is NorCal is pretty pretty exciting, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah.